In this video, we will walk through executing a test procedure using an ESA 615 as our test device and a defibrillator as our asset. Here in our list of assets, we can see our defibrillator and that it's due for service based on its status indicator. Before running the procedure, we'll need to link a procedure to the asset and we'll use a procedure designed to adhere to the NFPA 99 standard 2012 edition, tailored for the defibrillator class of medical devices. Once it's linked, it will show up in this list of procedures associated with the asset. Before running the procedure, we need to connect our test device by plugging it in via USB and turning on the test device. After a few moments, the test device will be detected by 1QA and appear here along with test device information. So we can now run the procedure. We'll step through various steps, entering our work order ID, verifying this information is correct. Here you can see electrical safety settings, such as test optimization, which optimizes the sequence of tests that will be performed for time savings. The first section in this procedure is for visual inspection. The next section is for electrical safety tests, which begins with a reminder to plug in your asset to the equipment outlet port of your ESA. The next component is for applied parts configuration. In this example, we have three ECG leads and two paddle leads from the defibrillator, which will connect to the ESA as well. Once connected, we can begin auto -se sequence with this play button here. During test execution, there will be dialogues that instruct you on lead connections or reconnections. In this step, we need to zero the test lead before we take a measurement. Once it's zeroed, we reconnect the test lead to the asset. In the case of this defibrillator, once power is applied, we can press the on button to boot it up completely. We'll want to do this before proceeding to the next test. Once it's on, we can click continue. We're prompted to reconnect the test lead again. This time to a non-earthed point on the enclosure. Finally, we want to confirm that we've completed the inspection, but in our case, we're not going to apply a sticker to the asset. Once the procedure is complete, we can click done and save the data. Because in our tenant settings, we have required approval for test results, the result will appear here and wait for approval. So that's how you execute a test procedure 